Hey guys, we're here with an exclusive preview from the upcoming Saddlebag Frontier Justice. Nailed it. Nailed it. Got it wrong a few times. Uh, we're going to be looking at a miracle from the upcoming Saddlebag called Confession. Miracles are a very interesting part of the game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, they are very similar to, to hexes, except for you use them on blessed dudes. I always say dudes in these things, and it's funny because in, in this game in particular, dudes actually is correct. correct. Yeah. Uh, every time I, I, I find myself doing that a lot. All right, so confession. Let's take a look at this game. So t before we even dive into the card, I want to talk about blessed dudes. Okay. There's only a few in the game. Mm -hmm. and a handful. The best one is probably the law dog one. Well, there's a couple law dog ones, but the, 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 the reverend is probably the best one. The guy, right? Yeah, obviously the reverend. Uh, but so that's going to make this interesting because there's. There's only a few current uses for it, but I have interesting thoughts for how it could be used in the future. So let's let's go through the card really quick. It's a miracle. Uh, one one of the, the actions is noon miracle six boot. So you boot it. Boot this dude to choose a dude at this or an adjacent location who gains bounty equal to this dude's blessed skill. So you have to boot your dude and the, and, and this the, hex. Yep. Or this miracle. I mean. To give them bounty equal to your blessed skills. So you have to have at least a bounty one. Yeah, because if you have bounty zero, one you would do this or to one put a zero on them. Yeah. Zero bounty. Um, that seems fine. Uh, booting your dudes is, is really... It's a thing. Steep. It's a steep cost. It's uh, one of the most important things in this game is movement. Yeah. And so and once, I mean, once you boot a dude... dudes can't move. They can't move. So you're giving up all future. And like the way the action back and forth works at a turn, as soon as I lock a dude down... Like at that, like for the committing him for that for the rest of the turn, you don't know what's going to happen. Like there's so much that could happen. That being said, you could run two blessed dudes. One of them that is not the reverend uses this to give someone a bounty. Yeah. Then you use the reverend to unboot them. So why 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 would you want someone to have a bounty other than just getting the money from from, um, from nuking? Them? Well, for one, the other half of this heck or uh, <laughs> miracle. And yeah, we'll get there uh, in a second. It's but then really. there's also bounty hunter, which is a really good card. There's so you, you judge get to put Somerset. a token to play at mm -hmm. one of these locations, and they call them out and they can't call. Yeah, judge, judge Somerset is judge the, judge he can call them out and they can't. Refuse. a job that yep. they can't refuse. And of course, if you ace them or if you win the shootout, you get the they money. get aced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'm saying. and you get the money from yeah. the dude leaving. Uh, then there's that one club that gives them plus bullets. I forget the name. Plus uh, like a lot of bullets. Yeah. But you would want your own dudes wanted. Yeah, yeah. Place. Which you can do. Which you, which you and can. And which you can do with the law dogs home outfit as well. Okay, so at the moment this seems like it fits pretty well on the law dogs, just mm -hmm. from what I'm gathering from the card. All right, so the other the other part of this card, is, by the way, it costs one ghost rock, which is really, yeah. that's inexpensive. Also, by the way, it's a five. A it's five of hearts. Five of hearts. Five is an important number. Uh, it's got a noon miracle seven, which means you only need to pull a seven minus your blessed skill. Boot, transfer one bounty from a dude at this or an adjacent location to your stash. So you basically take a bounty from one of dude and you make that money. Yeah. So this is good for this removing good. a bounty from yourself, for making money, obviously. Uh, but for also, like, I'm picturing, you know, base set law dogs have this ability to, to make dudes wanted. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's like, well... I mean, it's fine. If I, if I ace them at some point, I'll make money off of it. But in general, it's typically not like it, it can you can take it or leave it, right? But in this case, it's like now it it's always at least an economic engine. Yeah, and that I mean that's completely fair. Um, I don't think that that part of this card is the main reason you run this card, though. Why do you run this card? To make people wanted. To make them wanted. And make them fairly significantly wanted. If you have like a, or adding two bounty is huge, I think. Yeah. Because like if you like, were, have this in the Reverend. And I feel like that maybe makes it, it makes me want to think it's going to end up being better out of not law dogs. Like base set law dogs. Just because they can already make you wanted. And that's, that's fine to trigger off the yeah. second ability. But is it like, I'm picturing, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Sloan, uh, the whole Sloan faction or outfit. Uh, and I've been playing a lot with Alice. And like she can always go to a wanted dude's location uh, if they're accepting a call out. So the ability, I'm I'm always interested in cards that let me put a bounty on my own dudes. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to not only put it there but take it away. I Unfortunately, mean, there's no blessed dudes that work with them right now that <laughs> get, would give the bounty in the first um, place. Yeah, I mean that makes a lot of sense too. I think from a thematic standpoint. But like the the interesting thing as well is there's a lot of slow cards that want to be wanted. Yeah, like, you know, the, the, uh, wanted. The, the brothers that get the bonuses. For the bullets and influence, yeah. To the, like, there's lots of things like that, that want this mm -hmm. this particular thing. And I think, as a final, like, just thought on the the card itself, the flavor of this is immensely great. Mm -hmm. Confession, and it's a miracle, but it's a confession that's making you wanted, uh, which means that the Reverend is working with the Law Dogs, which is beautiful. <laughs> like, it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, thing. My, so, final take on the card, Tim. Well, another big uh -oh. thing about this card, you before got more, we move on, before the final is, take. it's a five of hearts. 
All right, which matters because matter. there are a lot of really good fives well, in, the, in the club range. There, there are, but there also if you have uh, a blessed two, that means that this card completes itself if you're pulling. Does that make sense? Yes, because it hits a seven every time. Because it five. hits a five. Yeah, uh, which I think is is significant because whenever you're building decks that are relying on hexes or miracles. You want to be able to be consistently able to hit those pulls. Yeah, I mean, when you were running your fourth ring deck with hexes, you never miss. It was impossible for me to miss. Which is a great feeling. It is a great Your opponent's sitting over there like, please miss, please miss, and you're just laughing. Cause there's, it's there's, like, a of, uh, there's a lot of stress percent. relief. Yeah. So that is really interesting. I, I didn't even think about the math from that perspective. Um, assuming you're blessed two, which, is there only one blessed two yeah. dude right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, let's be real. If you're running in Miracles, you're going to be running him, I think. At the moment. Yeah. I mean, I, I for a while, I would love, his ability is really good. I would love to have a Sloan Gang Miracle Slinger. Well, put the Reverend in your deck. I guess you could do that. You can't start him there. Right? No. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's never going to happen. Dems the rules. Dems, dims the beats. All right, final thoughts on the card. Good, bad, phenomenal. I think it's a good card. Um, it's not blowing any minds right now. I think it's only going to get better as time continues. Um, I feel like the, more blessed dudes. In general, the ability to make money and or make a dude wanted or not wanted are all quality things. Yeah, like, I, I agree with that. This card, assuming you're blessed to, could put two bounty on something, which is a, could be a huge economic swing if you ace one of their dudes. Inversely, uh, and also just all the cards that require a wanted dude, but inversely, the ability to remove the bounties uh, could prove to be just as important as the ability to add them from your own dudes and make money from yeah. it. Uh, or, if your opponent wants their own dudes to be wanted, like they're running Alice. Now you can make them unwanted and get money from it. And then they can't. What if you ran the Alice in Law Dogs? Just random in the deck. <laughs> no. No. All right. All right. Well, that has been an exclusive look at <laughs> Confession from Frontier Justice. If you are not a Covenant subscriber to automatically receive your saddlebags, I highly recommend checking that out. And we will catch you guys next time on our next Doomtown video, which there will be plenty of. So, see you then. See you guys.